Okay, so we're going to jump right back into this. This is a very heavily oxidized light. This is actually going to take a little extra effort, so I'm doing a separate video. If your lights were as badly, heavily oxidized as this one was, you may need to do this procedure. It's a little bit more involved, but still pretty easy. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to your auto parts store and get yourself some 1,000 grit, 1,000 grit fine wet sanding sanding block. They sell these at Amazon, they sell them at Track Auto, they sell them at most of your auto parts stores. This is just a, a sponge that has the thousand grit glued to it already. It's made for wet sanding. Wet sanding is generally done on paint surfaces so that after they've been painted, they smooth them out and then they polish them. The same procedure is gonna work on this. We're simply gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that sponge with a bucket of water. We're gonna keep the sponge nice and wet. And I know this sounds scary, but we're gonna go ahead and start sanding in a circular motion we're going to sand the headlight and as it starts to build up from some film you'll see the film start to build up that's all the material coming off the headlight and it'll start to stick on you it'll like like it's almost like glue like somebody hit the brakes and you can't move it that's because your sponge is actually pretty much full of paint or in this case plastic so you go ahead and rinse it off and go to it again okay so we're just going to keep working this headlight we're going to go all the way across all these harsh areas and you can actually hear it you can hear the sandpaper actually hit the areas that are really damaged. And you're just gonna keep going ahead and you're gonna go ahead and polish the whole light, carefully not to polish the edge of the paint. Normally I would tape this off. I would put tape around here to protect the paint edge. But because it's wet sanding, the tape isn't gonna stay very well anyway. So just be careful not to bump the paint, you know, too much. You can bump it a little, but try not to and try to work in a circular motion. Just keep working the headlights until you can feel complete smoothness. Every time you rinse the sponge, when you come back over it, you should feel smoothness. If it's not smooth, that's indicating that there's still an area that needs to be worked on. So keep wetting your sponge and keep going across it like this. And you'll, you can actually feel the difference of when it's smooth. Just keep sanding in a circular motion what you're doing is you're just taking off that heavy layer of oxidation. Okay, wet the sponge again, rinse it off. And you can see it better. You probably can't see on the camera, but you'll notice when you're looking at it, you look at it at different angles, you'll actually see when you're good enough. You'll be able to tell where the rough spots are and where it still needs more work. Okay. And it doesn't take a lot of work. I mean, you could sit there with the polisher and keep polishing and polishing and polishing it and eventually it'll get there. But it's just a lot of work and a lot of time when it's this badly oxidized that you can simply just take this sandpaper, color sand this out and it's going to take away a lot of that extra work and give you the same effect. Now I know some of you are out there thinking, well hell, that's scratching the heck out of the headlight. And it's going to make the headlight look even worse, which I'm not going to disagree with you. It's actually, you're actually right, it is going to look worse at first. Okay, but that's what the polishing comes in. So now, I'm going to go ahead and, I've already done this, I feel pretty good about it. It's nice and smooth, I don't see any more rough edges, I can't feel any more rough edges. So I'm going to rinse it off with clean water. To take our hose, we're just going to rinse it off. Okay, and we went ahead and rinsed that off. And as you can see, as it's drying, it's actually going to look worse. It's going to look like the whole thing is completely clouded now, which is actually just because it's the rough surface of the paint. Or I'm sorry, I keep saying the paint, but it's not the paint, it's the plastic. So now that I'm looking at it, I can actually see an area here that probably needs a little bit more work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just going to take my sponge back to it. And I'm just going to sand away and sand away until it feels nice, smooth, and I can't see any rough edges in the, in the uh, headlight. You may have to do this a couple times. Wash the headlight off, rinse it off, take a look at it. 
anybody who's ever done color sanding on a car understands what we're doing here but if you haven't done color sanding that's essentially what you're doing right now you're essentially color sanding paint instead you're doing it on a headlight okay so i think that's pretty good I'm gonna rinse that off again Okay, and as that's draining, as the water's just kind of shearing down off of it, you can look and you'll be able to see if there's any areas that look like they may need a little bit more work. Um, that's why I saw this area here that needed a little bit more work. Now it actually looks really good. It looks really nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off. Okay, and we're just gonna let that dry for a few minutes. Once that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna retape off the area again and we're gonna start the polisher, except for this time we're gonna be using a much more aggressive polisher, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so now that we've let this dry, you can see the haze, you can see how cloudy the headlight looks. Looks terrible, looks probably worse than it did when we started, but that's okay because it's actually now it's a nice smooth surface. And once we polish it, what this is, is just very, very fine scratches from the sandpaper. And our polish is gonna go ahead and polish that out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the same rubbing compound I used before, the 3M rubbing compound for autos. They sell this at Track Auto, Amazon, Pep Boys, any of your auto parts stores should have this. The big difference is, is that we're gonna use something a little bit more aggressive. We're gonna use a big six and a half inch polisher. This is a high speed polisher and the thing about using these is you gotta be very careful because you can easily burn through the paint or melt the plastic because this is gonna spin much faster, much harder, and it can actually damage it. So you have to keep moving. You really wanna keep this thing moving back and forth. You don't wanna stay in the same area. This is a trick to polishing. So just pay attention to how I move it around and I keep things moving. You probably will not be able to hear because it'll be loud. Um, same procedure, go ahead and put some drops of polish around your pad. And we're going to put ourselves back in position here. And like I mentioned before, you just go ahead and smear it around on your pad first before you even turn on your machine. Because once you turn on the machine, it's going to spray everywhere. And there's no avoiding that. That's just going to happen. So now we're just going to go ahead and start our machine. And we're just going to work our way across, back and forth across it. We'll work our way up and down. We're just going to keep moving all over the place. You just want to keep the machine moving as much as possible. I may have to change angles a couple times to get into some of these corners. But you want to keep the, the angles moving. You want to keep changing speed positioning. Okay, stand by. Okay, and as you can see, our material has started to dry and we're already starting to clear up. This is when I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some more rubbing compound on. You want to keep it wet. You don't want it to be drying up too much. As it dries up, you may have to do this a couple times. And we're going to take a few passes at it because I want this to be the last of this and I want this thing to look as good as possible. So same procedure, just go ahead and smear it around your sponge as much as possible and then we'll just go again. Just do the same thing, just again. Okay, that's already looking really good. I'm going to do one more pass though. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some more rubbing compound down. And I'm going to do another pass. I'm just going to keep working the same thing. Try to just smooth it out. The more you polish it, the better it's going to look. So you just got to kind of keep working at it. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. Go ahead and take a... Uh, Take a nice clean dry rag, which mine is probably wet, but that's what I have handy. We're just going to wipe off the rest of that rubbing compound. Okay, you may have to polish this off with a nice dry rag when you're done. My rag is wet because it just happened to be what I had handy. Wipe off all that excess rub rubbing compound. Okay, and let that dry for just a moment while I find a dry towel. Sorry about that, got a nice clean dry towel now. Now we'll go ahead and buff it off. Now look at that, 
That's a big difference, huh? Well, there you go. That's how you do it. You can keep working it. There's a little area here that I have a little bit more oxidation. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep working on that because I am a perfectionist. But you get the gist of the whole thing. You just kind of keep repeating that procedure. But I'm gonna work a little bit more in this area. I stayed away from it just because it's close to the paint area. But it's a little ugly and I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. All right? Okay, back to our headlights here. One thing I forgot to mention is now that we've gone ahead and we polished it really good with our big heavy duty polisher, it's not a bad idea to go back over it with your orbital. It'll just fine tune it a little bit and make it even possibly a little bit more clear. So same procedure. We're gonna use our orbital this time. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a little uh, compound on there. Same thing, we're gonna work it around the sponge a little bit, try to keep it from splattering everywhere. And then we're just going to go ahead and just kind of buff through the whole thing. I'll just do one pass just as a final pass just to see if it cleans it up anymore. Okay, we're going to go ahead and buff that off. Wow, look at that, huh? Now we're talking. This is my slightly damp towel just to kind of help me remove the rest of the rubbing compound. Okay, we'll let that set for just a moment and then we'll go ahead and do the final buff with our nice dry towel. There you have it. How's that look? There you go. That's how you do it. This is if you have heavily oxidized lights, not necessary if it's a light oxidation. If you got to it sooner, you can go ahead and do this, just the final easy polish without having to get into sanding or using that heavy duty machinery. Stay tuned. Talk about improve the looks of a truck. Stay tuned for uh, the next episode of How To With Paul.